Hello buddies, today I have some quite interesting information about how to play a marksman successfully. There are some points every professional marksman player applies and today we're discovering how you can use them as well. After watching, I assure you that the chance of winning your lane and becoming the MVP increases a lot if you apply everything you're about to hear. Let's start right away because there's a lot to go over today. It all starts with picking the right marksman in the right situation. You can have a big advantage when choosing a hero who can counter the enemy marksman, which often leads to you winning your lane. Of course, watching my video already helps you a lot to determine which hero is strong against another one, but let me go quickly over some examples. If you match up against a marksman with low range, it might be helpful to choose a hero with longer range. Or if you match up against a hero with low DPS, you can win in a 1 vs 1 situation if you have higher DPS. In this situation, the enemy chooses Melissa. Her duel can be quite strong, so you want to pick a hero who has an escape skill and preferably in long range, so you can keep a safe distance. Clit is a hero who matches those requirements and can be a fine hero to counter Melissa. Just try to analyze the enemy so you can pick the best hero and start the match with an advantage. It helps a lot if you choose the right hero in the right situation. This makes it easier to kill the hero or make him recall, which helps you to win your lane, which leads to you dominating late game. Okay, so you now understand the importance of choosing the right hero to increase the chance of winning. But of course your gameplay plays a huge role, so let me give you some really useful and practical tips and tricks. The main goal in early game is trying to win your lane while obtaining as much gold as possible and there are a few things you need to do well. It starts with your sustainability. You often want to have some lifesteal early on, so you gain small amounts of HP back from every basic attack. I therefore prioritize the small lifesteal item right away or buy it right after purchasing my boots. This way you get a few hundred HP back every main wave which is equal to receiving a few basic attacks from the enemy. This small lifesteal won't help you a lot uh, when battling the enemy hero, but each basic attack restores just a bit of HP, which really adds up in the long run. So the first minutes are often the most important one for winning your lane, so pay close attention. If you are the most dominant hero, there are two things you can try. The first one is going straight for the enemy hero, which can be a great strategy if you play a hero with higher DPS than the enemy. If you can deal more damage than he can, you can make him return to his turret so you can freely attack the minions. The second trick is to drive the enemy away. This can't be done on each hero, but if you have such a situation, this can be really beneficial, since you can let the minions die when the enemy hero isn't around. And this leads to him miss the gold and XP from the minions. If he misses one minion from the first waves, he doesn't become level 2, while you do, which brings you in a nice advantage. Be aware that when the enemy is the more dominant hero, you should play carefully, because he can perform one of those tricks against you. If he chooses a marksman who counters your hero, or you're in a 1 vs 2 situation, just play more defensive and stay close to your turret. Now, it's more important to get hit as less as possible, so you reduce the time when you're killed or forced to recall. Don't play aggressive if you aren't the dominant marksman. So gold is really important, especially in early game, and that's why you need to focus on less hitting the minions. Dealing the less blow adds 30% more gold, so try to time your attacks right to finish each minion. Also the shield of the turret adds extra gold during the first 5 minutes. Especially when you're the dominant hero, try to hit the turret as much as possible to maximize your gold. You want to prioritize the turret shield over the jungle monsters during the first minutes as long as it's safe. The jungle monster can be used to obtain some extra gold during this phase, but only if you can't get gold from the turret in a safe way. Also don't steal the jungle monster of your jungler, because he needs to farm as well. You only want to kill it when your jungler is far away and he can't take it out. The gold crab is a different story, just kill it whenever possible, otherwise the enemy might kill it and the gold is lost anyway. So during the first minutes, I want you to focus on staying alive and prevent recalling or getting killed. 
Getting killed or being forced to recall means you have less time to farm, which is a big setback in the early game. Trust me, just play safe, focus on obtaining gold on a safe way and just forget about the kills for now. You can poke the enemy to let him lose HP so he has to recall and you can safely farm. A kill can be a nice bonus, but it isn't worth taking a lot of risk to maybe make a kill when there's a chance of getting killed yourself. I think this kind of summarizes the early stage of the match. The goal is to get the turret of the enemy down and preferably within 5 minutes. If you can make this true, the mid lane is your next target. In most situations, the shield of the mid lane is still up, since for mage heroes it is harder and more dangerous to try to gain gold from the turret. So if you destroyed your turret or the shield of the turret, keep your eyes open for opportunities to gank at mid lane, maybe make a kill but focus on the turret. It's also important to make sure you don't leave for too long, so you can still protect your lane. When the turret is killed, you can push a bit in your lane to kill the minions early on at this position. This gives you like 40 seconds before the new minion wave reaches your turret, so during this time you don't have to worry about defending your turret. This kind of knowledge helps you to plan your gank while still being able to defend your turret. So always pay close attention to your minions as well as the ones of the enemy. Your minions walk on the same position as the minions of the enemy at their lane, so know when to expect them. When you are a bit more further during the match, you want to focus on a few other things, so let's go over them. If you've done a great job in early game, you're on top in terms of gold, which is often the case for the marksman. This means that you are likely to one in a one versus one situation, so you can play a bit more aggressive. Farming is still more important than making kills, so don't get distracted. Especially if there are some turrets down of the enemy, you can start taking some jungle monsters of the enemy. This is a great way to further minimize the amount of gold the enemy team can obtain, which is really beneficial to your team. The marksman hero has high DPS and is therefore a great hero to steal some monsters. Just remember that minions add more gold, so always prioritize them. In this stage of the match, you want to forget about less hitting the minions. Just clear the wave as quickly as possible and then move towards the next one. This stage of the match is also the moment to focus on getting the turrets down. Well, this doesn't add that much gold or XP to your hero, it really gives your team a strategic advantage. The more turrets are down, the better you can make use of the enemy jungle, which helps you to gank or flee. Of course, you also need to destroy the turrets to move towards the enemy base. Try to get the turrets down yourself or together with your team. The marksman is the hero who can take down turrets quickly, so don't forget that this is your task. These are the most important things during the mid stage of the match. But of course you need to know how to act in late game, because this is the moment to win the match. In late game, most of the turrets are already down. The respawn time is quite long and you are close to or already have all your items of your build. I hope I don't have to tell you that if you already are maxed, it doesn't make sense to farm anymore. So stop focusing on killing jungle monsters. Late game is mostly all about team fights, getting the lord, try to take down the enemy base. For a marksman, it's important to stay alive during a team fight, even if this means you have a few seconds of not attacking anyone. You want to take as less risk as possible, because the marksman is mostly the first hero who you want to take out. If you have a tank that understands his role well, he shall protect you. Otherwise, just try to stay close to him. You don't want to go up front, even if you play a marksman with some long range attacks. Stay behind your team and just attack any hero who gets close from a safe distance. This makes it way more likely to win the team fights. Like I said, the Lord is also really important in late game. It might take a while to kill him, but the marksman is the best role to get him down quickly due to his high DPS. If there are 3 enemies killed or the lanes are really pushed, you can ping your allies to take down the Lord quickly. Make sure they don't steal it from you and you have a good shot to attack the enemy base. Another option if there are several enemies are killed is attacking the base instead of taking down the Lord. This really depends on the situation. Sometimes you should just skip the Lord and go for the base, especially if there's a chance you can destroy it. 
just analyze the situation and determine if it's better to take out the Lord or push right away. When going for the base, the Boxman is the best role to finish it off. It only takes like 10 shots to the base to destroy it. So look for opportunities when the enemies are watching and you can lead your team to victory. It are really this kind of tricks you need to apply to become a good marksman. Just know your hero very well, farm a lot in early game and dominate the late game. I really hope this information has helped you to become a great marksman. If it did, just give a like on the video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to drop a comment because I absolutely love hearing from this amazing community. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide.